Okay, so today was one of those take off of work and do a little self care type of days. And of course, they were spraying the chemtrails. So the skies are totally white out here. See that up there? No different than what it's always been, because that's what they do. They're doing their operation. I don't know, block out the sun thing or whatever the heck they're doing. I don't know. Trying to keep us from not having the sun so that the crops fail, so there could be a food shortage. It's part of the UN and the New World Order and 2030 agenda. You know, it was 2021. Did you know there was an agenda 2021? Well, guess what? That was last year, right? And guess what started around then? Yeah, the scandemic. So they can get everybody to not be talking and not gathering, get everyone silenced and getting um, things put in them so they can just hurry up and go faster. Kaput. A lot of that knowing about that kind of stuff is stress making. You see that little sheeple thing that I have back there? I made that when I was taking my pottery class um, for stress relief <laughs> during school. And um, it's a cookie jar. It's a sheeple. It's sheep. And I, I put a little mask thing that I made these. I make towels for my salon because I specialize with curly hair. And... I had some leftover and I thought, oh, I'll make my own mask thing for the sheep. It's just kind of my commentary. I'm making a commentary on society. <laughs> Isn't that right, Karma? Yeah. You coming to visit me? You want to say hi? No. Oh, you want to just get up on your bed. Okay, fine. Whatever. She's cute. We went for a bike ride today. She rides in the basket that I had specially put on in the back. Yeah. And I'm your shield, huh? I keep you from all the wind. Anyways, uh, the last video I did, I noticed that my, what's it called? Yeah. I, I, I don't know how I got this in my Adidas uh jacket thing this is pretty dirty and i'm gonna have to wash it what do you want you're really talking huh you want to see the people can you see the people you can't anyway so i was matching up the colors it's so funny because i was trying to look for gray and in all those spools that i have all the different colors they're it's thread to sew. oh my you would do, what is it? You want to distract me? Do you want to say hi? No, you don't. Nick, you want me to hold you? What? Give me. Let's show off your sweater. You're so cute. Yeah, you got your little sweater on too because it's cold for karma too. Can you see yourself, karma? Hmm? Can you see yourself there? Hi. Say hi. Is that you? Is that you, karma? Are we using distraction techniques today? Yeah. Sometimes we have to do dis dis distraction techniques because it's heavy duty stuff, huh? Yeah. Sometimes things are heavy duty and we need times that we, um, you know, let's clean your eyes because were you crying or something? What happened? Was karma crying? Did somebody call you a bitch? You are a female dog. Did you know that? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, karma is a bitch. <laughs> it's true. I mean, not bitchy. Although you are vocalizing right now. But, you know, there's times where we got to take time, time off and get real. Huh? Gotta get, get real? Sometimes we had to get real. Yeah. 
Sometimes we have to do things to catch up or comfort ourselves. Uh huh. Yeah. Are you like Pinocchio? No, you're not like Pinocchio. No, you know this long, but you don't lie, right? Right. You know, when I think about that cartoon, Pinocchio, how he was a wooden boy and Geppetto adopted him, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like a straw man. I adopted Karma, but she's not really my straw man, you know. But the part, excuse me, the part that I, I often remember is when poor little Pinocchio, I don't know how or why he got away from his father, left his father's house, but he kept getting into one predicament after another. Somebody was like, hey, you want to be in the movies? Hey, we could use you. Yeah, they sure could use him. And then that other friend of his kind of looked like Butch or whatever. I don't know. It was, it's such a long time ago. I don't remember really the cartoon. But remember when he took him to that place and he says, hey, you could do whatever you want, smoke and drink. And then they started to turn into an ass or a donkey or something. I kind of think about these things. When we're doing all these processes, somebody's going to tell us this. Somebody's going to tell us that. Then other people, your peers or whatever, they twist it up. Maybe your enemy tells you the total opposite of things that you should be doing. Are you falling asleep now, Karma? Mm -hmm. You getting sleepy? Did you just want me to hold you? Or you wanted me to take you somewhere and do something? Mm -hmm. She's a good girl, yeah. And let's call her my therapy dog. <laughs> I think we all need a therapy dog. I'm telling you. I'm just saying, we all need a therapy dog. Yeah, so cute. Yeah, so cute. Um, well, anyways, I would like to finish sewing. These are distraction techniques. I mean, hey. When it's like tax time or something to fill out or you got to do something important. Do you ever get all the things done that you never got around to doing? Yeah, that's called a distraction because it's overwhelming when you don't know how to do stuff. So I'm going to see if I can sew this. I could not find my scissors. I usually have scissors everywhere, every kind of scissor and everything. All I could find were these. These are the ones I use for kitchen the kitchen shears i literally did that i use the kitchen shears because i couldn't find the regular one so i keep a little needle at least two or three in those spools because they're so tiny uh -huh. yeah did you see that mm -hmm, i did uh-huh i just put some moisture on there and the reason why i did that is so that i could thread it uh oh there's my neighbor okay saying hello <gasps> that was a miracle I was able to do it the first time you know what it's benefiting to have a bigger eye on the needle you know this little thing is called an eye the eye of the needle see that how big it is if you have a big one <laughs> a big eye you can thread it easily if it's really tiny oh that's gonna that's gonna take another technique so we're going to try to mend something that was torn. That's what we're doing. We're mending. Yeah, I know. What is it? You want me to do something? Take you somewhere? Because I know I gave you some food and you have your water. Okay, so that's what you do. You got to make a little knot on the very, very end. Boop. And you can use your scissors to cut off. These are the scissors from the kitchen. Don't think they're that sharp. But hey, what can I say? I don't know what I did with the other scissors. I really don't. Anyways, we're going to start sewing. Yeah. This does not look good. So you want to hide the end of that thing. So you're going to purposely... 
hide it by sticking at it on the inside. How is it not going to go through? Come on. There we go. Oop. And then you just want to try to hide. Hide that end that couldn't be cut. Anyways, I don't even know if I can do this with everybody watching me. It's not going to matter. I can't. I don't know if I could do this and talk at the same time. But they used to have, in the olden days, women would gather around and maybe they called them a stitching bitch. Hey, that's funny. I'm stitching and then I got my little bitch down here, my female dog. But no, what they meant by stitch and bitch was bitch or complain. Yeah. Well, sometimes we have to have a friend. We need someone to talk to, right? Sometimes we got to go, hey, I need to know what's going on, blah, blah, blah. And that's what that's good for, but, you know, with people not gathering together. And they're not doing all their fun things that they normally do. Guess they don't really have all these people. Unless you get on the phone. Or you get a, you know, get in a group like a Facebook. Some people are not good with technology. Yeah, I tried to put some lotion on this um, needle here because it's like catching. I don't know if it's a piece of rust or what. But I just put some lotion on here so I can try to get it all the way through without it being... I do have a sewing machine right back here. Boop. I don't know. I had set it up a long time ago when I first got this RV, thinking, oh, yeah, I can make my towels and sew stuff and blah, blah, blah. And I don't think I sewed any, anything. Nope. I don't think I sewed anything. This is taking a long time right here. I mean, I'm probably better off taping it. <laughs> but no, that's not right. <laughs> No, they have this thing called Wonder Under. That's another thing that you could do. You could literally put this um, stuff. It's like this uh, thing that you iron on. And it kind of works like glue, you know, like double stick tape, you know. And yeah, iron it. That probably would be the best thing for this. This is all munched big time. Yeah, I don't know why you want me, my attention right now. We already went on the bike ride earlier. And it's so full of chemtrails out there. I don't really want to be going out when they got all that fallout stuff. I was videotaping with my camera phone. You could kind of see little tiny fallout. Like, I didn't know if it was sprinkling. I was like, what the heck is a sprinkling? But no, it wasn't. It wasn't water. It was that fallout that they're putting all over us. It's bad. I went out there and did some gardening today. And, you know, it's stress relieving, I will say. What are you guys doing? You doing anything? that helps you with all the stuff that you're learning. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of things to do. And using avoidance distraction technique. Some of us just go down the rabbit hole and just keep going. And <clears throat> when you come out again, it's like traumatizing. And it's almost like you are in another world. You know, maybe that's like Alice in Wonderland thing. As she was wondering about all the wonders that are happening beneath. Oh, here comes my neighbor. Uh-oh. Is he drunk? Oh, don't hit my car. Oh, he's a little close to my car. Oh, wow. That was close. Yeah. I can't help him. He drinks that wild turkey stuff and he drives this van. I there's nothing I can do to help him. I tried to help him, but hey, you know, I'm just saying. 
He don't want help. So just saying. I don't want him messing up my car though. Hey, maybe if he did, he'd have to pay me. <laughs> I just I want to be able to have my car. So yes, I need to do my UCC three addendum. And I was just thinking about doing that because when you have a bill of sale and um, you want to make a claim, that's your property. Uh, it kind of works in adverse ways too. You know, like if you were to get your thing towed, they're going to put a lien on it if you don't pay the bill or whatever. They're going to make a claim first. So you don't want them to make a claim first. You want to make a claim first. So that's why I'm doing that. I'm putting it in my trust. And you just got to make sure that, you know, like I was reading those first two UCC things, you have to make sure it's under the, the right name, the right number, that it's tied to the first one. Um, yeah, you know that all crimes are commercial, right? And that they have used our name as all caps name and caused us to do commerce. And that doing business as name being all capitalized and all wasn't necessarily claimed by us. We didn't get the doing business as. Did you guys go? and file for a doing business as so that you could have your checking account and credit cards and all that stuff? No, no, we did not do that. But somebody else did, who, who, who did it? I mean, come on, when the bank converts your name to an all caps name, it appears that they're doing business as your name, right? Hey, Frankenstein stitching is happening. Hey, after I get this done, I'm going to do the inside. And um, then I'm going to wash it. Yeah, it doesn't look that great. I know. But eh, don't really care. I will make it fashionable. Look at some of those pants that people are wearing. Get real. They literally have holes. I'm just saying. They pay a lot of money for that. I'm only really doing this so that the hole doesn't get bigger. And using it as therapy. Exactly. I'm using it as a distraction technique because sometimes when I don't know how to do something, I kind of have to like read the directions, toss it around, ask more questions and ask other people, is this what you're seeing? Because I'm seeing that. Looks like we got to do more than just this, just to make sure it's right. So I want to make sure that I do things right. So I'm just waiting for a phone call couple of my study buddy peoples I want to make sure that I do it right you know and some some things we can do when we own it already and if we don't really care we don't have to do it all perfect we could put a little patch on it or we can just fold it if we want to fold it and hide it you gotta do a double foldy double fold but if you don't really care like i guess i just don't care i just want to keep it so that it doesn't um continue to make more of a gigantic mess and then i end up throwing it away because this is still good for me this little adidas lightweight windbreaker sweatshirt yeah some people, they would call this darning their socks. You know, they would 
they would fix the holes in their socks too. You know, I have a lot of socks and I still don't understand what happens to that one sock that gets lost. I don't know, don't have a washer or a dryer, so I still lose things. <laughs> I have a lot of one, one socks. <laughs> I like keep them because I'm thinking they're going to show up eventually. I'm <laughs> going to find them somewhere eventually. But there are times, it's called spring cleaning, when you have too many of those. I mean, you can make sock puppets with them. Now, that's something that we used to do when we were little. What's a sock pocket? Pop it. Pop it. <laughs> I can't even talk right now. Well, you just get the little sock. You know, you put it in your hand and you put two eyes and a nose and you make a puppet. Yeah. That could be your friend that you can talk to. <laughs> yeah. There's just those down days. I'm not saying feeling down. I'm saying the days that, that you just don't feel like you're getting a whole lot accomplished. But you could get a lot of other things accomplished. You could wash your dishes. You could organize your sock drawer. You could do laundry. You could file things. You could read things. You could watch videos. You can listen to the audios. You could take notes. You know, my next thing I think I need to do is all the notes that I have in a little basket. There's a basket over there. See that? so many notes from zoom meetings and stuff and it's like just scribbly scrabbly i mean you're just trying to grab the gems as they're coming and if you could read it that's fantastic revisit it and oh that's about ucc oh that's about mortgages oh that's about this so i was thinking one of these days soon I was going to start getting rid of all the notes and what I'm going to do is put them on my computer and putting them under subjects, subject stuffs, so that when I get ready to, you know, look at my notes, I'll have it legible. Yay, I did it. It doesn't look that great, but it's as good as it's going to get right now. The next step, I'm going to have to take this thing and go and wash it really well because, I don't know, must have had a wet sleeve or something. You know how to end this, you guys? You know how to end it? You kind of have to go over the same spot again, stick the needle through, make a knot, and then you can cut it with your kitchen shears. Boop. And that's how you do that. So I accomplished something. I mean, there's a lot of things that I actually accomplished today. Sometimes you need these days to kind of saute or marinate in all the stuff that you've learned, you keep getting more knowledge and more knowledge. But you need to be able to compartmentalize them, put them in their file areas in your brain so that when you get ready to buy a car, or discharge a debt, or buy a house, or whatever, that you'll know the steps. It's great if we can type them out, put them on a piece of paper, and put some steps down. This is what you do there. This is what you do there. So this way, when something that's not familiar to you, when you're just new, or you're just trying, starting something new, it helps to have your notes. But you need to have legible notes and keep them before your eyes, you know, so that you can be able to know what to do next. Because sometimes you can be impulsive. Each one of us have those moments and you get into something and then something twists and turns and you get tricked or whatever. And you're like, great, now you have to reverse engineer, kind of go back over in your mind. Where did I miss the steps? Oh, I didn't do any inspection. Oh, I didn't get anybody to witness this or that. Oh, okay. 
So there's all these different things that you have to do. Can't just, here's a 1099A, give me my car. You can't do that. There's steps involved. Mm -hmm. There's steps involved. So like, just like when I did this, when I noticed I had a, a hole in my sleeve for my jacket. And I took the time to sew it. But I literally had to go through all the different spools to find something that would match the right color. You know, luckily I had the, um, luckily I had the needle already in the spool together and hanging right there. And then I had to find the scissors. Sometimes you don't have the right instrument. So you had to do with what makes do. These are not the right scissors, but it's okay. It's passable. So you do a little bit of, what's it called? Replacement. Now, when I'm done, I'm gonna put this back over on that spool rack so that when I get ready to do another repair or something, I'll be able to do it. It doesn't matter if it's not good enough. That reminds me of a song. Remember, I don't know, maybe when you were younger, you listened to some music that your parents had playing. I remember I used to ride in the car and my mom had the radio on and there would be some songs that she liked on the radio station that she listened to. So when you are a little kid and you're riding in the car and you're listening to the songs that are on the radio that your parent has chosen, you have those songs in your memory because you just keep doing them. And there was this Karen Carpenter song, Sing Sing a Song. And maybe some of you are not old enough to know that song because I'm over a half a century old. <laughs> so I... <laughs> I know some older songs, maybe you don't know. But there's this one, um, Karen Carpenter. Let me see if I can sing a little bit. I don't know what key, but sing, sing a song. Make it simple to last your whole life long. Don't worry if it's not good enough for anyone else to hear. Just sing, sing a song. Yeah, and sometimes, sometimes we all have, you know, trials and tribulations and things. And sometimes singing a song or listening to music kind of gets us out of our funk or whatever. Or it depends, maybe gets the in a funk. If you have issues with depression and stuff like that, I do not suggest that you listen to any sad songs. And as a matter of fact, I haven't listened to a lot of music in many, many years. And most of it is because I just don't want a song to manipulate me and my emotions. If I'm going to write a song or sing a song, I'm going to write it about something that pertains to me or helps me. But I don't listen to a lot of music. I really don't at all. Even in my salon, in my studio, I do not play the radio at all. And it also bothers me when I go to the store and I have to hear music because that distracts me because then I hyper-focus on that. I go, oh, I love that song. Let's see what happened around that time when I was listening to that song first. And that makes me buy more, more stuff. I get distracted and I, it's just better to not be distracted. If I want to get something done, um, some people put earplugs in their ears. Uh, sometimes other neighbors, they like to play their music really loud. That irritates me. 
because it's not I'm trying to understand why somebody would be playing a snare drum and I don't know a big tuba <laughs> and it sounds like the circus is in town and they're having a party and all that jazz uh it's like do I want to hear that no I do not want to hear that that's your music why don't you just get some earphones or something? Because I don't really want to hear that. I don't. So anyways, I just thought I would, you know, hey, let's see if I can put makeup on without my glasses. Have you guys ever tried that? When? I mean, women, not guys, although there are guys that maybe do i mean sometimes i put this on while i'm driving you know um sometimes gotta paint the barn a little bit just so that you know stuff can happen it's hard when you have glasses and you're trying to put makeup on on your eyes it's kind of hard you know i had gotten a whole bunch of these little type of um it's ipsy bags you know fun little things my favorite is chapstick love it yeah that's my favorite yep but sometimes you had to take a day off and do things just for you because don't worry if it's not good enough for anyone else to hear or see. Just sing, sing a song and do the things that you want to do for you. You have to do these things for yourself because you're the only one. You're the only you that we have, right? And it's up to you to take care of you, right? Hey, I found some keys. Oh, Oh, I was hiding these things for a long time. Dude, uh, I don't even know where these go. These Did these go to this RV? Or the other one? Ooh. I don't know. You know, sometimes when you store some things, I don't know. Sometimes you have to go through stuff, you know. Go through stuff and organize things. And then find a place for them instead of them being where you thought it was makeup <laughs> your makeup purse or something this is great it's good to go through stuff i'm pretty sure that this is the spare keys that go with this yeah it looks like it but you know when you don't have things in the proper spot because you're using a makeup bag and you put it in with your makeup purse and you don't know <laughs> you didn't put it in the right spot you got to make sure you put stuff in the right spot so that saves you a lot of hassles you know this is good news i have to find a, a place for this so this might be a good video just for maybe Anybody who's on meltdown load or overload, because that's, I'm on overload. I'm needing to just relax a little bit. There's a lot of stuff. And you know what? Sometimes if you just acknowledge those things, you might take a little bit better care of yourself. It's okay. Because we all have something. And we can all help each other too. So it's a really good idea to get a couple people that you know. Maybe make them a study buddy or just keep in contact with them. Get them on a Facebook messenger or a Facebook group or Telegram. You know, just to have someone to talk to. It's okay. All right. It's all right to talk to other people who are studying the same things that you're studying and to ask questions of them. So 
uh, just thought I would kind of just keep it real and maybe go over some of those things. Maybe you guys can make a video too of what you do and how you keep organized and maybe some of the things that you're going through or put out some questions and maybe in the comment, put some answers. That'll help us all so that we can all get to the other side, okay? So I didn't read anything today, but um, just letting you know, gotta keep it real. <laughs>